Hello everyone, my name is Sumandua and I'm a registered migration agent at Nationwide Migration and Education. We make weekly videos regarding Australian migration. If you are interested in this topic, you may want to subscribe to our channel. In this video today, we will be talking about Offshore Skills Assessment Program for Tradespeople. Are you looking to move to Australia and contribute to its skilled workforce? If you are a tradesperson, the Offshore Skills Assessment Program or OSA might be your gateway. Are you someone from the following passport countries? So these countries are Bangladesh, Brazil, China, Fiji, Hong Kong, SAR, India, Iran, Ireland, Macau, Nepal, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Republic of Korea, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Thailand, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom, Vietnam, Zimbabwe, and have you worked in one of the following occupations for a minimum of three to five years full time in any country? So the occupations are automotive electrician, chef, cook, fitter general, fitter and turner, fitter welder, metal fabricator, metal fitter and machinist, not elsewhere classified, metal machinist, first class, motor mechanic, general, sheet metal trades worker, welder, cabinet maker, carpenter, carpenter and joiner, joiner. So if you have experience in one of these occupations, do you know that you can get a skills assessment from Trades Recognition of Australia if you have three to five years of full-time work experience in your nominated occupation. Now this skills assessment can be used towards an employer-sponsored visa like the 482 Temporary Skills Shortage Visa, 494 Regional Employer Sponsored Visa, 186 Employer Nomination Scheme Permanent Visa. Now for all these visas, you will need an employer in Australia who is ready to sponsor you. Apart from these visas, you can also lodge your expression of interest for the general skilled migration points tested visas such as 189 Skilled Independent Visa, 190 State Nominated Permanent Visa and 491 Regional State Nominated Visa. You will need a minimum of 65 points to be able to lodge the expression of interest. You will need to be under 45 years old. You will need a positive skills assessment in your nominated occupation. And you will also need competent English score, which is six each in IELTS or equivalent test. If you need more information about this visa, you can watch one of my other videos in which I explain these visas in detail. I will put the link in the description below. Now let's look at the requirements to be able to get a positive skills assessment in one of these occupations. Now there are two pathways available for offshore skills assessment. Pathway 1, which is for applicants who do not have an Australian wet qualification in the relevant occupation. And then pathway 2, for applicants with an Australian wet qualification in the relevant occupation. So non-licensed trade with no formal training will require 5 years of full-time work experience and non-licensed trade with formal training will require three years of full-time work experience. This must include 12 months of full-time paid employment in your nominated occupation in the three years before lodging the application. Now, there are three stages for both pathways. Stage one, which is the pre-assessment, where there is no cost. Applicants are required to provide evidence of identity, formal qualifications and employment history like resume to ensure the eligibility and currency for the skills assessment. Then when we move to stage two, which is the documentary evidence, Trades Recognition of Australia will charge you 1120 Australian dollars and applicants submit documentary evidence to support their employment history, such as pay and bank statements or statements of service, photos or videos and other supportive evidence of their skills and experience. Stage three is the technical interview and the cost for this stage for pathway one is 2000 Australian dollars and for pathway two is 900 Australian dollars. In this stage, applicants attend an online Zoom meeting. The assessor will ask questions relating to units of competency from the relevant assessed trade and Australian qualification if pathway one Trade related questions including industry standards as well as confirming employment history and experience if pathway 2. 
Now, typically an application will be completed within 15 weeks from the date of submitting the required decision ready documentary evidence. So if you're someone who is an experienced tradesperson and has been thinking of migrating to Australia, you may want to book a consultation with us so that we can assess your eligibility for this pathway. If you have any questions in regards to Australian migration, please get in touch with us. You can visit our website nationwidemigration.com.au and book a consultation online. If you would like to stay updated about Australian migration, please subscribe to our channel.